So this is Amy and she worked with one of the videos towards the end of the uh, claymation as well. The little girl and the dog in the bedroom set. Um, she actually worked with a partner. Um, her name is Erin, but she couldn't be here today. Uh, so Amy's just going to talk a, a little bit about creating the background for this movie and the clay figures and the overall project. Um, <clears throat> the uh, background Erin um, had already made. Um, yeah, I helped her with coloring it and um, tried to um, use a few different techniques while doing it, like um, cross-hatching. Um, well, that's where you take the pencil one way <laughs> and then do it again um, the opposite way. So if you go horizontally, you do vertically over it. If you go vertically, you go horizontally. Um, and then um, I also attempted to, um, with Aaron and Christina, uh, the girl um, that you saw in the movie. Uh, we uh, collaborated on what she should look like and then um, made her move. Uh, she kept falling apart. <laughs> um, quite literally. Um, how, so, how did that happen again? The, the clay got really hot and it was just became putty yeah, in our hands. Because we, we, we had to um, move the, um, the clay girl so much and it was already hot. <laughs> that it just was basically Mush. we were almost like oh god we like I was thinking I really hope it doesn't just become liquid um, <laughs> which I knew it wouldn't but, yeah. but it was a lot of fun and I hope to continue um, doing all sorts of art media class this semester <laughs> So what did you think about um, making your particular piece, Andrew? Because I like dragons. You like dragons? I think we all like dragons a whole lot around here. <laughs> So this is Billy, and uh, he made the, the big green hills, the kind of Andy Warhol looking big green hills, uh, and um, he did the plane flying into the skyscrapers and the clouds. Uh, he actually worked with another student, Chris, who couldn't be here right now, but maybe we'll get some commentary from him later on. Uh, but yeah, Billy, why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about um, first the drawing process because this was kind of a new experience for you, and then the clay stuff. Well, the, the drawing, drawing by itself has never for really kind of interests me. I've always more of been into like taking pictures and stuff like that. So it was a different kind of way of thinking and having to make the mind, make the picture instead of just seeing it. And tell us what materials and techniques you used to make that drawing. First we used pencils, more of an outline, and then to color it in we used, or I used pastels. And kind of messy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then, yeah, I think that, yeah. I don't think we used colors. Yeah, you used pa uh, pastels oh, and pencils. pencils. Uh huh. Oh yeah, for the smaller building. And you were able to blend the colors really well with the pastels to make it have that glowy painted look that it had. That, I think that, that, was that fun. people coloring. people were really happy with your piece. Um, I think we're planning on framing it and putting it up. So that's really it was really really nice. Um, the, the coloring was more fun than the idea. Yeah, <laughs> drawing the idea. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is Andrea. Hello, Adria. Hi. We're having a great time on the set. Uh, so, Adria is responsible for the yellow submarine, and she's going to tell you about her choice to make this and what she felt about the overall project. 
Tell us about the yellow submarine, Adria. What about the yellow submarine? Why, why would you choose the yellow submarine? I wonder why. Well, tell the audience. <laughs> because <laughs> cause I am just absolutely smitten by the Beatles, and the Beatles have this great song called Yellow Submarine. Hmm, I wonder if anyone's ever heard of that song. I feel a song coming on! <laughs> oh, but I'll spare you. <laughs> okay, so it was based on the Beatles song. And did you, was it difficult for you to make it? Or did you, was it challenging for you to create the shapes? Let's just say I'm, I'm not Monet and I passed art, and, art uh, you know, whatever you call it. Art appreciation with a, about a C minus. Yeah. So, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't a piece of cake. But yeah, I but you were you were pleased with your end result, weren't you? It really looked good. It looked like something. It looked like yellow submarine. Yep, sure yep, did. Sure did. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac, so yeah. you. Sir, are responsible for that little pink pig right. that met its maker at the end of the video. Yep. Um, that pig really got it. He was in like three different videos. Um, so why don't you tell us a little bit about this pink pig that you made? <laughs> um, well, I made this pink pig out of clay, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, I uh, was, uh, I guess, and I was placing him right next to Andrew's yep, 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 clay model of a, uh, what was it again? The dragon. Yep, mm -hmm. of the dragon. And he, and he, oh, and he did the best he could to, like, yeah. to fight off the, fight <laughs> off the dragon as shown on, on these snapshots on, uh -huh. uh, on, on, on the laptop. Uh -huh. But he, but the, but my little piggy was no match for the dragon. <laughs> the dragon cut his head off uh -huh. and, and uh, yes, and, uh, and grabbed his, the rest of his body part and uh, yes, and uh, stormed out <laughs> with it. I know it's the great circle of life, right? Yep. Um, and the the pig was also uh, featured with the aliens, oh. a spaceship and an alien yep. in the beginning awesome. of the in the beginning of the video. Um, so, I think you, you got to put up a little bit more of a fight in those videos, at least, right? Yep, I did have um, So, and, and something that's neat, too, about your pig is the, like the dog, it had a head that could turn back and forth, and its tail was able to move, and its little legs yep. could move back and forth. Yep, just like a puppy dog. Yeah, and was this a... a a new experience, a first time for you to build something like this? Yes, it, it was the very first time for me to build a new experience like this and also, oh, and also a big challenge for me too. Yeah, 